Which areas in Paleo are the best to fish in for the most gold? Should you or should you not use bait for the best gold profits? In this video, I will be comparing the gold earned from fishing for 5 minutes with no bait and normal worms for each body of water found in Paleo. Glowworms are a lot harder to make so I'll be prioritizing common and uncommon fish from ponds and not focusing on the rare to epic fish as they are extremely rare to even hook. The reason for choosing ponds is because the gold value for the common and uncommon fish at ponds are higher than for the other bodies of water. In order to have standardized, consistent comparisons between each fishing spot, I set up two rules. Rule 1. No fishing bubbles or hotspots. I only fish in normal water and avoided the fishing bubbles in order to not have any star quality fish that could affect the gold profit. This is because you might not always have hot spots, so it's a way to standardize the profit for each method. Number 2. No fishing buffs from other players. I made sure to have no fishing buff because it makes fishing overall faster and this way it is a direct comparison for consistency. If anyone joined midway, I would leave and reset the timer and start anew. Of course, when you are trying to maximize your profits, you want to do both of these things, but for the purpose of the video having consistent data, I decided not to include those. For example, when I had no fishing buff for 5 minutes in Kilma River, I earned 283 gold total, but with a buff at 5 stacks, I earned 450 gold. This makes sense because it is a 50% increase to your fishing hook rate, so you'll be catching about 50% more fish. Keep watching until the end for tips on how to maximize your gold from fishing. Now for the comparisons. For Kilima River, with no bait, I caught 6 spotted bullheads, 3 striped dace, and 2 channel catfish. The gold from this one was 283 total. When using just the normal worms, I caught 5 golden salmon, 4 red-bellied piranhas, and 1 energized piranha. The gold total was 450. Since the energized piranha is rare, if you substitute it with a common fish, the gold total will be 350. For Kilima Lake with no bait, I caught 10 gillyfins. The gold total was 200. When using normal worms, I caught 1 painted perch, 6 largemouth bass, 1 prism trout, and 3 smallmouth bass. The gold total was 390. For ponds in both zones with no bait, I caught 7 calico koi and 5 mud minnows. The total was 276 gold. With normal worms, I caught 5 kilima catfish, 1 mirror carp, and 4 orange bluegills. The total was 426 gold. For the caves with no bait, I caught 6 eyeless minnows and 4 umbern carp. The total was 308 gold. With normal worms, I caught 3 bat rays and 7 albino eels. The gold total was 470. For Bahari Bay rivers with no bait, I caught 4 yellow perch, 5 rosy bitterlings, and 1 silvery minnow. The gold total was 210. With normal worms, I caught 4 oily anchovies, 1 paddlefish, 4 cutthroat trout, and 1 kilima redfin. The gold total was 525. For Bahari Bay Coast with no bait, I caught 1 barracuda, 8 sardines, and 1 Bahari bass. The gold total was 257. With normal worms, I caught 3 Bahari breams, 7 bluefish tuna, and 1 blue marlin. The gold total was 535. You know that the blue marlin is rare, so if you substitute that one for a common fish, the gold total will be about 420. So now that the no bait and normal worm locations are done, you can see that using a worm yields about 100 to 200 gold more than using no bait for every 5 minutes. Now for the glowworms. For the glowworms, I use the pond in the housing plot as it is easier access to the shipping bin. I caught 6 scarlet koi and 3 mottled gobies. The gold total was 765 gold. I also did get a rare and epic fish, but I decided to not include those because they are so rare. If you had instead gotten 2 more of the common fish, that would be another 170 gold, so that brings a gold total to 935 gold. Clearly, glowworms do give the most profit out of all of these, however, they are harder to get. Most items will only give you one glowworm, while cooked meals give 2 to 4 depending on the meal when you use the glowworm farm. When you get to level 10 fishing, they are a lot more accessible as you can purchase them from the special currency, but if you do not have a lot of glowworms, then it is better to use normal worms for money making and save the glowworms for when you really need them. So overall, here are my tips for making gold through fishing. 
Prioritize using bait and if you can, try to fish with other players for the fishing buff. You should fish in hotspots if they are very close to where you are already fishing, but otherwise they are not worth the time to run around for them. Also, do not keep recasting your line waiting for rare and epic fish as you would spend a lot more time doing nothing when you could be catching other fish in the meantime. For this reason, I recommend fishing in ponds, particularly the one in your housing plot as the common and uncommon fish there are worth a lot more gold and it is nearby a shipping bin so you can easily sell everything fast. For example, the common fish from the ponds are worth 85 gold, however if you compare it to Bahari Coast, some of the common fish get as low as 23 gold. So it's a lot more efficient to get from the ponds instead of any other location. I hope you have fun making gold through fishing and please like and subscribe if this video helps you. Thank you for watching as always.